Hey guys, how's it going? Josh Spoon here. Wanted to share a quick tip with you. I wanted to show how you can replicate some of the functions of this AE400 ActiveEQ by McDSP. And I wrote a Dubspot article about this using the envelope follower, but I wanted to do a video as well and kind of point out what I was trying to replicate. This plugin, one of the features is it allows you to duck certain frequencies depending on what uh, sidechain information you send to it. So it'll duck the frequencies of another instrument to get that out of the way. Like we're going to have in this example, a kick that we want to kind of stand out and the bass to uh, fall back whenever the kick's hitting. And this is something that you can do um, pretty easily with Ableton Live. You can replicate a lot of different uh, plugins and things like that. Not exactly to the T, but you could do it good enough if you don't have the money to pay for it. So I just wanted to share this with everybody. You can also go to the Dubspot article, and download the files, and then read through it. If you like to read uh, through your tutorials more comfortably than videos, check that out definitely. First of all, you know, for the example, I have a kick in one track, and then I have a bass in the other track. This bass I made from uh, Welsh's synthesizer book. You can get that on Amazon. We're going to be side chaining certain frequencies to get them out of the way of the kick. And we have an EQ here because this is what we're going to use to uh, dip out frequencies. Okay, so we just have this kick pattern four on the floor. We just have this bass line. So if we look at the spectrum here of this kick, we'll see that it's occupying a good range from like 50 to about 200. And we want to scoop out an area for that to stick out a little bit more. And as you hear when we play these together, it's kind of, the kick's kind of lost. So when we, one thing we could do to test this is kind of dip the frequency and see how it sounds. So we can definitely hear the kick a little bit more. All right. So we found a good range and we can tighten this up later. But what we'll want to do is Come over here, go to the Max for Live devices. I'm just going to search envelope and audio envelope follower. We'll take that and we'll look at the kick. So there's the envelope follower. It's getting the information from the kick and we can use that information. We'll just turn it up. We'll use that information to map to the gain. So whenever it hits, this drops. Okay, what I'm going to do is make a rack so I can define an area for this gain to work. So we'll rack it up, map. So the minimum will be, we'll just put negative 15, the maximum is zero. So it can, this is as far as it will go. We could set a boundary here. And we're going to click map. And then we're gonna map that to the gain. So right now it's backwards. There's a couple ways we could do this, but we'll just invert this one and we'll play the bass line. So that's pretty noticeable. And, you know, we could take this gain down so it doesn't affect it as much. We can change the rise and fall so it'll affect differently. We can also move it around see where it might such so as a quick demonstration download it 
from the Dubspot site. Check it out. Um, mess with it. Tweak. Find better ways to use it. Take a look at it. And I hope it helps you clear out some of your mix. You can use this with any instrument. It doesn't have to be a kick. So if you want an instrument that is really prominent in one part of the song, and then another instrument comes in and it's around the same area, and you want it to kind of fall back for the second verse, you can have this put in, and then you don't have to manually mess with anything. It'll just get out of the way. So thanks for watching. I'm Josh Spoon. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe, like it share with friends, do all those types of things. And don't forget, if you need any Ableton Live tutoring, I'm on Google Helpouts, and I'll help you out with any questions you need. Thanks.